recap of yesterday's class and then I'll ask about this question that we were doing that was left and the time was up. So we'll just start from there. And then, so uh, firstly, I will do the quick recap of yesterday's class for the person who has just joined today. So a very quick recap. What we learned yesterday was that a vector has two components. One is the magnitude and the other one is the direction. Okay. And this was also the unit vector. And then we learned that uh, the universal unit vectors. There are three universal unit vectors. If you have a three-dimensional system, each one is i, j, and k hat, respectively. And this is in the x direction. This is in the y direction. This is in the z direction. And thirdly, we learned that we can write any vector in the form of the in the form of these component of these three vectors. So this is a, y, j, and the third one is the a, k. So this is the x component of the vector. And this was the y component. And this was the z component. And then we learned about the and then we learned about the addition of vectors in the polar form so if you have a and this is b and the angle between them is theta. So what was the magnitude of the this vector, resultant of this vector? Uh, Heather, can you recall? Yes, sir. So what was the magnitude? Uh, uh, a square yes. plus b square plus 2ab cos theta. Yes, right. And what was the direction? The tan alpha is equal to sine beta upon a minus b cos theta, a plus yes, cos theta. Yes. And uh, the other thing that we learned, so I missed here one part. One thing that I missed yesterday was that if those two vectors are perpendicular to each other, so let's say this is a and this is b. Okay, so again, we'll use the parallelograms law. And this will be your resultant. So for, when we calculate the resultant for this perpendicular vectors, your theta will be what? 90 degrees, so your resultant will be what? A square plus B square plus two AB cos 90 and your resultant will be what? Cos 90 is what? Zero. So this is your resultant. Okay. If your uh, vectors are perpendicular and what will be the direction? So B sine 90 is what? One. B. Okay, so this is B and B cos theta. B by A. Okay. 
So just remember this property that if you have two perpendicular vectors, the angle is just the y part and the x part. So angle is B by. Okay, and then we learn about the subtraction of vectors. So to do the subtraction of the vectors, what we did was that uh, this was A and this was B and we elongated this line in the negative direction or the opposite direction. So this was minus B and this was B and this was the resultant. So this was the resultant. And uh, Heather, you were asking about the direction. So for the A plus B part, the direction was this, okay. And for A minus B, the direction will be this. Okay, so this, these are two opposite directions. So the direction, the direction is totally opposite. Okay, so what was the magnitude for the subtraction part? Iran, can you recall? Iran, are you listening? Yes, sir. So what was the magnitude of the uh, resultant for the subtraction of two vectors? Let's say a x square. Uh. So this was a square. Let's say a square plus b square, and there was a minus sign. Yes or no? Yes. And the direction was. Yeah. Yes and. What was here? A plus B sine theta or A minus B? Minus. Uh, cos theta. Plus huh? B. Plus? Minus B. Minus B cos theta. You can just recall the triangle. So this was A and this is your resultant. Okay. And this angle is what? Theta. So this is B, so this is what? B sine theta, and this is B cos theta. So the angle, when you draw the equivalent triangle, just recall the triangle and you will have the answer for all the questions. So this is what? This total is A, and this is B cos theta. So this will be what? Uh, Ira, this will be what? The total is A and this is B cos theta. So this will be A minus B cos theta. Na? And this is your alpha and this is your B sine theta. So these are all capital. Just bear with this. So the angle will be this for the subtraction of the vectors. Okay, understood. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So up to here, and the last thing that we did was the resolution of two vectors or resolution of a vector. So the fifth thing that we did was that if you have a vector A, let's say this is a vector A and this makes an angle theta. So this was A cos theta, and this was A sine theta. Okay, so your vector, let me write capital. So this was A, and we had so we had AXI and A val J. Okay. And your AX was the horizontal component, which was this. So this is A cos theta I hat, and this was A sine theta J hat. 
So your AX was what? U cos theta and your AY was A sine theta. Okay. So up to this point, we did in the yesterday's class and we were solving a question which was left. So who has done the questions? Hiram or Heather, were you able to complete the question? Did you find the answer for that question? Hmm, Heather, anyone who has done the question? No, sir. Uh, so you didn't do the question, okay. So we were doing this question Hmm. So we were solving this question. So who has joined today? Uh, okay, so Abhinav Alia has joined. Okay. So we were solving this question. So, uh, okay. Uh, I I did the question. Huh. Couldn't get the i vector properly, but the uh, the like in the y direction it is phi phi j cap. So I think it's the a option. A option, yes, yes, a is the correct option. So you did the question, na? Yes. Okay. okay, okay. So one has done the question. Uh, did you face any problem, Heather, in solving this question, or you didn't try? I didn't try it actually. Okay, okay. So you got the point na, to how to solve this question? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, so do I need to do this question again or it is okay with you? No, sir, it's all right. Okay, okay. so we'll move on. So there's another question that I want to do here and it is based on the previous question. Okay, so the magnitude of vectors OA, OB, and OC in the given figures are equal. So what is the first equation, uh, first information that you get from this question? Abhinav, what is the first information that you get from this question? The magnitude of the vectors. Are equal, yes. So this is, oops. So the first thing is that magnitudes are equal. So let's say the magnitude of OA is OA and OB and OC. They are all equal. And let's say it's N, okay. So this is the first information. And the second thing that it is asking is what? What angle OA plus OB minus OC makes with the x-axis? So let's say the resultant of this OA plus OB minus OA OC is like this. So this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis, okay? And let's say you get a result like this, something OA plus OB minus OC. Let's say uh, P hat, okay, P cap. And it is asking about what will be the angle that it makes with the x-axis. Okay, so this is asking about this. And you know that when you have this I, and this J, so the angle will be what? Tan alpha is what? Y by X, simple, okay? Let's say you have a vector uh, R, which is RXI plus RYJ. So the angle will be what? Simply RY by RX, okay? So our goal should be what in solving this question? Can anybody tell? One more hint I will give. So let's say you have a vector, let's say R, okay. 
which is 3i plus 4j. Okay. Uh, so what will be the angle? Simply this. Okay. So our goal is to find the x component and the y component of this vector. Okay. Understood? Yes, sir. So let's try to solve this question together. Uh, so first we'll try to calculate OA. OA and what is given for OA? OA's magnitude is N and theta is what? Theta is 30. So Alia, what will be the X component of OA? Hmm? Oh, Alia's mic is not working. So Abhina it is. Abhina, what will be the X component of OA? Hmm? Heather, what will be the OA X component of OA? OA sine 30. OA X component, cos, it is cos. Cos 30. Yes. OA cos 30. So N and cos 30 is what? Root 3 by 2. Okay. So OA X, the X component is this and Y component is what? Iram. OA sine 30. Okay. Right, right. OA sine 30. So this is N and sine 30 is what? One what by Yes, so this is n by 2. So you have calculated vector O. So this will be n root 3 by 2 i hat plus n by 2 j hat. Simple? Yes, sir. And now we will calculate what? We'll calculate, let me put this here. So now we will calculate OB, okay? So for OB, your magnitude is N, your theta is what? Theta is what? Abhinav? 60 degree. Okay, 60 degree. So we will calculate OB X component. What will be the X component of OB? OB, OB cos, cos 60. OB cos 60. Right. So this will be N and R. And what will be the Y component of OB? Root 3 by 2 J cap. Uh, OB. <laughs> step by step. Step by step. Sign 60. So this is root three by two n. Okay. So your vector OB will be what? N by two i hat plus or minus? Minus. Yes. Minus. Minus root three by two n j hat. Okay. And the last thing that we need to calculate is OC. Okay. So let's try to do it directly as Heather suggested. OC. OC will be what? Hmm? Minus 1 by root 2. I Minus 1 by root 2. N by root 2. I. And? 1 by root 2. J component, Y component. Yes. So this is OC. Okay. And now we will calculate what here it is asking. OA plus OB minus OC. Okay. So OA is N root 3 by 2 I hat 
plus n by 2 j hat and your ob is what ob so ob is n by 2 i hat minus root 3 by 2 n j hat okay and uh, your oc is n by 2 root 2 i hat and this is plus and this is minus n by root 2 j hat okay so can you recall what my goal was to solve this question Yes, to find, find out the direction okay. towards the with the x axis. Yes, we were we were to find out the x component, the ith component, and the jth component. So it seems that we are going in the right, right direction. We have the ith part and we have the jth part. So we will solve this. What is happening? Okay, so this is the i, i and i. So this is n root three by two i plus n by two i. And we have to rationalize this, okay. So this will be n root two by two i, understood? So this is the ith part plus we have n by 2 j minus root 3 by 2 n j and minus uh, root 2 n by 2 j. Okay. So what do we have? This is root 3 plus root 2 plus 1 by 2 n i hat plus n minus root 3 minus root 2 oh, sorry sorry so this is 1 so this is 1 by 2 n j understood up to this point hello yes sir okay so so what will be the final answer and now we are we have to calculate the angle okay so what we will do what will be the angle what will be the angle anybody what will be the angle this is y and this is x so what is the angle y by x y by x so this is 1 minus root 3 minus root 2 by 2 by 1 plus root 2 plus root 3 by 2 and and cancel 2 cancel so we have what 1 minus root 3 minus root 2 by 1 plus root 2 plus root 3 okay so the answer is alpha is tan inverse 1 minus root 2 minus root 3 by 1 plus root 2 plus root 3. So what is the correct answer here? A. Hmm? A. So A is the right answer. Okay, understood this question? Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay. So now we will move on to the next topic. So up to this point, what we did? We did the addition of the vectors. 
And then we did the subtraction of the vectors. Oh, I have one more question on the subtraction. So let me here. And where was this question? Yes. So this is the question. Hmm. First, we'll try to solve this question and then we'll go to the next, next topic. Uh, as you recall that I am going to focus mainly on the numerical solving part. So I will give you many more questions and we will try to improve our numerical skills. So uh, this is the question and you already know the subtraction of the vectors. So Abhinav, for you, this question, the angle between vector A and A minus B is, so what will be your approach in solving this question? Abhinav, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Ah, so what will be your approach in solving this question? First thing is that we will try to gather the information from this question. So what is the first information? And I'm telling you that this is a direct application based question. This is a direct question. And it came in the JE in 2021. So this is a recent question. Hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, what will be your approach? Sir, so first we'll take, see that the angle between vector A and vector B is 120 degree. Yes, the angle between vector A and vector B is uh, what? 120 or what? This is vector A. So we always count the angle with the tails of the vectors, right now? not the head or tail. Yes. So what is the angle between A and B? It, from linear relation. You are going in the right direction. So 180 minus 120. Yes. So this is 60 degree. So first part is done. Huh? First part is done that we know the angle between A and B. And uh, in the question, this is asking the angle between A minus B and A, which is beta. Okay. And uh, you recall that what was the angle for the subtraction of two vectors? This was 60. So this was the angle. Let's say this is beta, so we'll write beta. So what was the angle here when you recall the subtraction of two vectors? Hmm? Can you remember? Iram, do you remember? Uh, Iram, are you listening? Hello, Iram. Am I audible to anyone? Or... Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. I can, huh. I can hear. So um, let's just try. What was the angle? 10 uh, beta. Yes? 10 beta B by A. 10 inverse of uh, B by A. Uh, that was for the perpendicular vectors. Anna? So if yeah. your A and B are perpendicular, then this theta will be tan inverse B by A. But here it is not perpendicular. This and this or this and this A and B are not perpendicular. Uh, so let me recall one more thing that for the subtraction of vectors, your angle was what? B sine theta upon A minus B cos theta. So this was the angle na, for subtraction of vector. 
now you guys remember yes sir so this is exactly the same question na? so you have given this angle theta the angle between two vectors and with the x axis it is making this angle beta okay and you know the relation between this beta which i am writing as alpha here to recall so this beta is related by the angle between the vectors and the magnitude of the vectors okay yes sir so uh, the angle between vector a and vector b is this and what is theta here i should write it's it here. yes okay so b sin 60 upon a minus b cos 60 understood so your tan beta is what b root 3 by 2 by a minus b and this is half so what will be this this will be what Two and two cancel. Yes. So when we take the LCM of this, then two will cancel. So this is two, and this is two a minus b by two. So this cancels. So we have two three b by two a minus b. Okay. So this is the right answer. So C is the right answer. Understood? Yes, sir. Now we'll move on to the next topic and I will come again with some more questions. Uh, so multiplication, the next topic is multiplication of vectors. And uh, there are two kinds of multiplications. Let me just change the color. Did Aram leave the class? Or... Okay. Uh, Aram, were you disconnected for some time? Uh, yes, Hello? my Wi Fi isn't uh, working properly. Asa, it's fluctuating. Yeah. So, were you able to see the question that we were solving? Yeah, yeah. I, I saw it. Okay. I saw it. okay. So, the next topic is. Uh, multiplication of vectors. So there are two kinds of multiplication of vectors. First one is the scalar product. And the second one, second one is the vector product. As the name suggests that, that when you multiply two vectors in a such in a such a way that you get a scalar quantity or a number which is not a vector then that product is called the scalar product and this is also called dot product and uh, the other product is that when you multiply two vectors and you get another vector then that is called a vector product and this is also called a cross product. I'm giving you some recap as you have already learned this in your previous classes, but I'm going just, I'm just giving some uh, recap of these vectors. So, what is a scalar product? So, 
So let's say you have a vector A and you have a vector B. So the scalar product is defined like this. The A dot B is AB magnitudes of A and magnitudes of B into my cos theta, the angle between A and B. So this property comes very handy in calculating the angle between the vectors. Okay, so now we'll do some basic properties of the scalar product. The first one is the, uh, the dot product of the uh, universal unit vectors. So you have, what are the universal unit vectors? I, J, and K are the universal unit vectors. And this is I hat, this is J hat, and this is K hat. Okay. And these are mutually perpendicular to each other, as you can recall. So what will be the dot product of I into I? This will be magnitude of I and magnitude of I and cos. And what is the angle between I and I? Abhi no. 90 degrees. I and I. Zero. Ah, zero. So zero. So this is the magnitude of I is one. The magnitude of I is one. And this is also one. So I dot I is one, okay? And similarly, your J into J will be what? J into J again, cos zero. So this will be one. And your K into K will always, will also be one. So this is the first pro property of universal unit vectors that their dot product with itself is one. I dot I is equals to J dot J equals to K dot K is one. And uh, what will be I dot J? Hiram. What will be I dot J? Hiram, are you disconnected or? Hello? Heather, what will be I dot J? Zero. Okay, so zero. One into one into cos 90, so this is zero. So similarly, all these alternate product of I and Js and Ks will be zero. So this is the first property of the dot product. And uh, let me write it like this. So the second property is when you have a Cartesian form of a vector. So let's say your A is what? Some AX I plus AY j plus a z k and your b is what b x i plus b y j and b z k okay so the dot product will be simply your a x we will multiply with b x because i dot i is one so only for the case of i, only the i dot i will survive and i dot j will be zero and i dot k will be zero. So this will only be ax into bx and similarly you will have ay into by and then az into bz. So this is the dot product for the Cartesian form, okay. And there are more properties, but we'll discuss that later.
in the question. Okay. So there is another product which is called the vector product. I haven't talked about the projection of the vectors. I will do that in a question. Or should I talk about the projection of the vectors? Mm, I will do that in a question. So what is a vector product? Let's say you have a vector A here, and you have a vector B, and this is the angle between them. Okay. So uh, the vector product is defined like this. You have A and B. So the vector product will be A cross B. And uh, this will be what? Magnitude of A, magnitude of B, and sine theta. And there is an n cap here. So this it defines the direction of the vector. And you can calculate the direction of this vector by using the properties of Maxwell's thumb rule, the right hand thumb rule. So you place your vector in the direction of A, uh, and uh, then you move it in the direction of B. So the direction that your thumb gives is the direction of your n hat, the cross product. Okay, so this is the direction of the n hat. And uh, let's do some properties. So this is A cross B is A, B, sine theta and n hat. And in the case of Cartesian form, what will be the form of the vector product? So let's say, let's say you have I and I cross I will be what? I cross I will be I magnitude, I magnitude and sine. And what is the angle either? Hello, Heather, can you listen? Heather, are you listening? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Huh, yes, so sir. so yes. what is the angle? What is the angle here? Zero. Zero. So sine zero and n hat. So this is zero and sine zero is zero. So this is zero. So this is zero. Okay. And uh, what will be I cross G? So for this case, uh, when you use the thumb rule, so when you place your hand in the I direction and you when you move it in the J direction, the direction, the direction that it will give is what? It will give the direction of what? So let me draw here. So this is I and this is J. And when you move this in the direction of I, J and your thumb will point out to the Kth direction. Understood? Hello? Hello? So your direction will be what? K hat and magnitude is what? 1, 1 and sine 90, 1. So this will be K. Okay. So similarly, you will use a simple relation, which is called what? Cyclic property. So in the case of a cross product, so this is I, this is J, and this is K. So cyclic property is like this. 
the cross product of i and j will be k and j and k will be i and k and i will be j similarly when you do when you go in the opposite direction so the product of i cross i cross k will be minus j so when you go in the opposite direction the sign will change and when you go in the cyclic direction the sign will remains positive and i j will be k so understood up to this point yes sir yes sir so let's say you have a vector uh let's say you have a vector a is 3i plus 4j plus 5k and you have another vector b which is 2i plus 3j plus 6k so can you guys calculate a cross b when you know that i cross i is 0 and i cross j is k and similarly the rest so please calculate and tell me the answer so is anyone calculating write the answer in the chat So is anyone calculating the question? Tell me that I am calculating this question. Yes, sir. Okay. So did you get the answer? Doing, sir. Okay. So did anyone find the answer? Hmm? Can anyone tell me the answer? So let me calculate. So this is 3i into this is 0. So this is 9k. And this is 3618. IK is what? IK is minus J. So this is J and 4JI is minus JI is what? 8K. And this is 0 and this is. 24 i and this is what k i 10 j and this is what k j i and this is zero okay so where is i this here is i so this is 9 i and uh, this is what? Minus 8j and this is k. So did anyone get this answer? Who's got this answer? Hmm? So I got the answer. Okay. okay. So this is about the cross product of two vectors. And uh, 
there is one more method that you can calculate the cross product and that is the matrix method so I in, used the determinant method to calculate like huh? mjk in three what uh, the, i didn't understand the, the method you used to calculate because i got the answer by doing the determinant one okay the matrix one yeah, that's oh. why. <laughs> so you already yes. know about the matrix method. Okay, okay. So we use this uh, method, na? We know. Okay, so we use we use this property, these properties. Your i, oh. your i cross i is zero. Your i cross j is k, and you use mm -hmm. this cyclic property i click method okay okay so your 3i cross i is 0 and 3 into th i cross j is k so 9k and your 3i mm. into 6k is what 18 and your sign is dependent upon the cyclic nature so oh, that okay. is how i calculated okay and this okay. and uh, you already know the matrix method but uh, just give you a quick recap so, as Yeram was telling, the matrix method. Or the determinant method. So, your Ax or your A vector is Ax i plus b y j not b y a y j and e z k and your b vector is b x i b y j and b z k so your a cross b in the matrix method will be what You write in the top i, j, and k. You write the components of the first matrix. And then you write the components of the second matrix. And then you calculate the de determinant. So what will be the determinant? This will be your i. So i. For i, you have what? For i, will you you will have this one into this one. Okay, so this will be a y b z minus a z b y, and the second one is with the minus sign because the cofactors are negative for this uh, in this term. So your j will be what? This is J. So this is what? Hmm. Uh, did you leave the class, Heather, or you were disconnected? Hello? Hello, Heather, did you disconnect? Did you disconnect in the middle of the class? Heather, uh, are you listening? Yes, sir. Am I audible? To you? Yes, yes, you are audible. So you got disconnected in the middle of the class, na? Uh, hello? Yes, sir. I got disconnected. The Zoom was crashing. Okay. So where were you with us? At what point did you disconnect? You just started cross product. At the start of the cross product? Yes, sir. So can you just... Can I just go through the notes once? Okay, like, okay. You can just scroll it. I'll, okay, yeah. okay. I will scroll. I will scroll. I was just talking about the uh, the unit uh, unitary unit vector cost product, the properties of the unit vectors. So, up to which point uh, were you with us? Right up to this A cross b is equal to a b sine theta n okay 
So we just talked about the properties of the unit vectors. And we used that property, the cyclic nature of I, J, K unit vectors to calculate the cross product. Okay. So this was the theme of this uh, cross product. And then and now we are talking about the matrix or the determinant. Understood? Yes, sir. So, so where was I? Uh, so this is what? Ax, Bz minus Az, Bx and then your k hat k hat will be what this one this goes so this will be what Aaron, this will be what Aaron? hello yes. so this will be what a x b y minus a y b x. Okay. Understood? Yes, sir. So this is, you already know the determinant method. So, so let me write it here. So a cross b will be i of a y b z minus Az by minus j hat ax bz minus az bx and plus k ax by minus ay bx. Okay, so this is when you use the determinant method of matrix uh, vector product. Okay. So what was I going to talk about then? Uh, so vector product is completed. And uh, so let us do some questions. And your vector is completed. And then I'll talk about the motion in 1D plane. OK. So let us solve some questions. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's solve the first question. If uh, Heather. Heather. Yes, sir. Ah, so tell me about the first question. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, what information did you gather from the first question? Sir, uh, it means that the a plus b a vector plus b vector is equal to a minus a vector minus b vector yes so the theta of the vector you have to find out yes 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 so a plus b magnitude is equal to a minus okay and uh, we can recall that what is the magnitude of A plus B? Iram, what is the magnitude of A plus B? A square yes. plus B square yes. plus 2AB cos theta. Yes, right. And uh, either what is A minus B magnitude? A square plus B square minus 2AB cos theta. Yes. So we'll square in both the sides and we'll get what? So this will cancel and we are left with four AB cos theta is zero. Okay, so four can't be zero. 
A can't be zero, B can't be zero. So which part is zero? Hmm? Cos theta is zero, na? So which means that for what angle theta cos theta is zero? For what values of theta your cos theta is zero? Ninety degrees. So theta is ninety degrees. So this is the answer. And let's do the second question. Uh, so if vector A is this and B is this, our function of time, then the value of T at which they are orthogonal to each other. Okay. So what do you mean by orthogonal? Hello. Yes, sir. Ah, so what information did you gather from this question? Two vectors are given. This is given. And it is asking about what value of t at which they are orthogonal to each other. So orthogonal. It means that their dot product is zero, meaning both the vectors are perpendicular to each other. Orthogonal means they are perpendicular to each other. So if they are perpendicular, their dot product will be what? Zero. Zero. So what we will find here? In this question, what will be our approach? We will find. So we will put x component and then y component. No, no, no. We will find the dot product because dot product is zero. Understood? Okay. So here you are given the information that they are orthogonal. And for orthogonal case, your vectors are what? Perpendicular. So for perpendicular vectors, Let's say you, you have two vectors. So let's say this is A and this is B and they are perpendicular to each other. So A dot B will be what? A, B and they are perpendicular so cross 90. So this is zero. So this will be what? So this thing that we have to use here to solve this question. We are going to use this property. Okay. okay. Understood. So back to the question. Hmm. So where was I? So we are going to calculate a dot b is zero. So tell me what is a dot b? A is what? Aram, a is what? Cos uh, omega t i cap. Yes, cos omega t i cap plus, plus sine. Yes. Omega t i cap. J cap. Yes. And then we'll take the dot product of this combination with B, which is cos omega t by 2 i cap plus sine omega t by 2 j cap. Okay. And we'll use the dot product of the unit vectors. So I dot only I dot I will survive and J dot J will survive. So this will be what? Either this will be what? Either. This will be uh, cos omega t. Yes. Cos omega t by 2. Yes, right. 2i cap. I, I dot i is 1. So that is 
your this is the scalar product yes, yes, yes sir so this is a scalar product and you can't have vector like yes sir and the second term will be sin omega t yes sin omega t by 2 into right right is equal to zero this is zero okay and uh, recall trigonometry okay so this is cos theta into let's say cos a into cos b and this is sin a into sin b so can you guys recall what is what this is cos a minus b yes right so this is Oh, sorry. Mm, what happened? Mm. Okay. So. So this is, how do I remove this? So this is cos omega t plus omega t by two is zero. Yes. So this is, uh, this is what? Two omega t plus uh, this is omega t by 2 is equals to 0. So what will be your angle here? This is theta. And at what theta this is 0? Either? So what yes. will be theta? Hmm? Uh... So your cos... 90. Yes, right. 90. How do I remove this? Uh, yeah. Okay. So your theta, which is 2 omega t, which is 3. 3 omega t by 2 is 90. So this is, uh, this is what? T equals to, just let me write this as, uh, let me write this as pi by 2. So this is pi by 2 into 2 by 3 omega. So this is what? Pi by 3 omega. So can you so take this again from that cos A minus B? Uh, so okay. you want me to repeat from where? From this cos A, cos B, sin A, sin B. Ah, from here? Yes, sir. So you see that this term is cos, this term is cos A. Okay. Yes, sir. This term is cos B, this is sin A, this is sin B. And you told, oh, so this should be minus, no? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. So this is minus. Right, right. So this is minus. So this is omega t by 2 is what? Uh, is pi by 2. So 2, 2 cancel and this will be t is pi by omega. Understood? Yes, sir. So this was the answer for this question and Again, let us solve some more questions. So we did this question and this is done. If a vector is perpendicular to the vector, then the value of ah, this is simple. So you guys solve this question and tell me the answer in five minutes. Please solve this question and tell me the answer. 
perfecto. Okay, so Iram was telling the answer is 90 degree at 6 4. So it was for the first question. Okay, sorry, I missed your chat. <laughs> uh, yes, right answer 90 degree. So the answer to this is minus 1 by 2, right? Minus 1 by 2. I have to solve this question. Let's solve mm -hmm. together. Okay, so who has minus 1 by 2 or any other answer? Hmm? So who has done this? It's minus 1 by 2. Minus 1. So if the two are having the same answer, then I will not calculate. You both are right. Okay, majority decision. <laughs> and Abhinav, did you get the answer? Same answer, sir. Oh, okay. So three votes for minus one by two. So it is minus one by two. Oh, sorry. Okay, so next question. Hmm. Huh. So the angle between the two vectors will be this is the same as the previous one so we'll skip that question okay so is that okay with everyone yes sir okay so this is skipped and the next question hmm. So two vectors x and y have equal magnitude. Okay, and the magnitude of x minus y is n times the magnitude of x plus y, the angle between x and y. So this is asked in J means, and uh, you guys solve this question. Okay, and tell me the answer. Or should we do it together? We'll try for Huh? Sir, uh, we'll try solving them if we can't do them. Okay. Please tell me the answer in five minutes. I will write the information that is given here. So x, y magnitudes are, let's say, m. And the magnitude of x minus y. x minus y is n times x plus y. So this is the information that is given, na? Hello? Yes, sir. So this is the information, na? Yes, sir, yes, sir. So we have to apply this information and find cos. And you know that in resultant, you get something like cos. So there is a cos term in the resultant of two vectors. Uh, 
sir, I'm stuck at a point. Uh, you are stuck at a point. Yes, sir. So let's try to solve it together. Okay. So this is x minus y. X minus y is n times x plus y. So this is the information. And x minus y is what? x square plus y square minus 2xy cos theta. And this theta that we have to calculate. Okay. This is root. And this is n. And this is what? Root x square plus y square plus 2xy cos theta. Okay? Yes, sir. So this is what? We will square this in both the sides. So this is minus 2xy cos theta, which is equals to n square x square plus y square plus 2xy cos theta, right? So this is what? x and y are m. So m square plus m square minus 2m square cos theta is n square m square m square plus 2m square cos theta, okay? So this is 2m square minus 2m square cos theta, and this is n square 2m square plus 2m square cos theta, right? Hmm? Right? Yes, sir. So now we'll take what is common here. I'm seeing that this appears m everywhere. Square, 2m square. So let's remove this. So this is what? 1 minus cos theta is equals to n square. And this is what? 1 plus cos theta. Okay. So 1 minus cos theta is n square plus n square cos theta. So this is what? This is n square cos theta plus cos theta. And this is one minus n square. Okay, so this is cos theta common one plus n square and one minus n square. So your cos theta is what? So your cos theta is one minus n square by one plus n square. So your theta is cos inverse one minus n square upon one plus. So did anybody get this answer? Heather, are you, did you understood? Did you understand? Yes, sir. So what? Yeah, I can't see. So minus of cos theta is also one minus n square. So if we take minus from this part, okay. So this is your cos of minus theta. Cos of minus, sorry, cos of minus theta is what? Huh? Cos of minus theta is what? Cos theta, na? Okay. Understood? Yes. So, yes. so if we take minus from here, minus from here, then this will match this. So if we take minus here, so this will be what? You can put minus over here. So this will be what? 
n square minus one and this will be minus n square minus one. So this is matching with what? Oh, sorry. This one. So this is the right answer. Understood up to this point. Oh. So understood. Yes, sir. I didn't understand the last point where the answer changed. Uh -huh. Okay. So what I can do is that let's say uh okay. So let's try another way. Hmm. and try to solve it from here. So this is minus cos theta and this is n square cos theta, right? And this is n square minus one. Understood? Yes, sir. So if we take, so this will be what? Minus what? Minus n square cos theta is n square minus one. So this is what? Cos theta n square minus one by minus n square minus one. Theta is 